Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps with the channel a lot. Welcome back to the city. Last time we were here, we were building up the town, uh, sorry, the, the town, the district of Reynolds Square, uh, a transit oriented development with, uh, you know, a suburban flair. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. There were some suggestions to, to make some tweaks to it. So I've actually gone ahead and already done those tweaks. But in today's episode, we are going to uh, focus on the neighborhood just to the south of Reynolds Square, Shatner Heights. And Shatner Heights is going to have an interesting feature to it. We're going to try and get trams in this area. And by bringing the tram across the river, uh, Bathurst River, uh, I think that's what we named the river in the town. Um, by getting the trams across, we're going to open up a whole new avenue of things to do. And I think that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So here we are. Here's Reynolds Station, Reynolds Square. Just looking at the transit, apparently. <laughs> uh, so I think last episode we built up Reynolds Square. The episode before, we built up Reynolds Station. So what were some tweaks that I made? Well, it was suggested to add a path running behind these condos over here. So we've done that and that turned out great. There was also a suggestion to, you know, just make sure there's a crosswalk right here. So I've done that. I've also uh, deleted some of the residential buildings here and have uh, put a path in as well. And it's very, uh, it's very used, which is nice to see. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all I I've really done uh, so far, but you see this giant blank space in between Reynolds Station and West Beach over here. Well, that is the neighborhood of Shatner Heights, which is named somewhere. Shatner Heights, all the way over here, apparently. So we've named this whole little middle section over here, Shatner Heights. And I don't know if we're gonna really build out over here too much today, but we're definitely gonna fill this area up. But, you know, I really want to get trams in. There's a great suggestion to try to get a tram in the festival area from uh, from Mark. Thank you very much for that suggestion, Mark. Oh, and I uh, remember that this one with the path came from David. So thank you, David. Um, and yeah, I think I think getting a tram in here would be really interesting. It'd be kind of like, uh, you know, if, if you're moving from one side of the festival area to the other, it'll just, it'll just have two stops. But I think that'll be a really cool feature and I'm um, definitely wanting to give that a go. So we'll try to do that at the end of today's episode. And the beginning of today's episode is actually try to get those trams in. And how are we gonna do that? Well, I want to make sure that the tram networks are connected. We could easily, easily, easily just build a new tram depot and then just, you know, have the trams where we want them. But I don't, where's the fun in that? Let's make it challenging. So I think we, we're gonna try to connect it up to our current tram network. And the closest point for those trams is right here. So around Bathurst Community Park, this yellow and red line right through here, that is a tram loop. So this is actually one of the original uh, transit areas of the city. So um, I think the goal here is to probably look at redeveloping this bridge. So this bridge has been here since the beginning pretty much. And I think it's about time that Ontario Street gets a new tram bridge. So this old industrial bridge is about to get renovated. I guess the Historical Society didn't uh, didn't make their case well enough to the city. Or, you know, this is a pretty important project. So perhaps there's also that. Um, so let's go into the tram roads. And I think, I think the best option is to run it off of here. So this road isn't very used like there are tr uh, trucks and stuff that use it but uh, i'm not going i don't really plan on getting a tram to connect these areas up i think we just want the tram road for you know safety and logistical reasons so let's try to find a four lane tram road yeah four lane two-way road with tram tracks i think that one works let's just pause the game really quickly let's upgrade this road and there we go that's pretty good. So this one-way road connects up in both directions. And then from the other side, they have to get into the tram about <laughs> loop area. So yeah, I think that works. Um, then we will probably want 
to do this road as well. However, if we're going to be doing a redevelopment project, I don't really mind going right into the larger roads here. Now we do have a eight lane tram road. I mean, that could be good. So this one has, it looks like it has three lanes of traffic and one lane of tram. And I think that one probably works best in this scenario. Um, because, you know, there are lots of things going on in here. So yeah, let's do this. Plant that down. And let's also think about doing some redevelopment in this area, uh, mainly because we're already kind of doing that. So I think right here is pretty clean. It looks like we can just take that out. Over here, I think we're going to rezone this whole block. So let's delete those and let's uh, let's think about what's going on over here. I think residential might be a, a, a good idea, but I think it's probably beneficial to check the ground pollution in here. Yeah, so it's pretty tough, so probably not residential. So I'm, I guess, I don't know how long it takes to go away, the ground pollution. So we do have some pretty good health care in the city. Where is the nearest healthcare facility? It's right down the road. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> let's try. Let's see if we can get uh, just a touch in here. So let's get a nice big condo right through here. Let's also do the other side. Um, and let's let's see if people complain too too much about this. We'll just get commercial on the other side. So let's throw it at three speed, and we'll come back to it. Um, but. I guess we got to get the bridge in. That would be, you know, beneficial to the <laughs> the build here. Um, okay, so we had eight lanes right through here. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable doing two lanes on this side, but no, I guess it's probably a good idea just to upgrade the whole road system. Okay, so we're gonna go into bridge mode. Let's. Oh, this does have a bridge piece though. It's pretty nice to see. Let's turn collision off. Or let's just go elevated for now, actually. Yeah, so we'll go elevated on that side and elevated on this side. And then we'll see if we can get this bridge looking nice. What? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, let's try to draw it in. Uh, hopefully that makes things a little, a little bit nicer. Hey, look at that. That's a pretty big bridge. Alright, let's throw that in. It's pretty cool looking. Alright, that's quite the uh, quite the redevelopment we've done. The city must have spent a lot of money on this. So let's just try to reposition um, uh, the metro ever so slightly. Pretend that this was already done. <laughs> and there's a fence in the way. What the heck is this? All right, well, we'll have to just leave that fence. Uh, all right, so the Metro is just gonna kind of duck over ever so slightly and we're gonna pretend like it was like that all along. Uh, all right, but uh, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty nice. This whole area now, we've kind of grown this up a little bit. I haven't seen anyone complain about the pollution yet. So hopefully, hopefully it's actually already gone down. No, uh, yeah, no, I don't think it has. But we'll wait and see if that becomes an issue. Let's do some traffic management really quickly. So, you know, obviously we could just do some dedicated turning lanes, but uh, I think it's probably best in this scenario to do uh, two lanes. And then over here, we'll do a dedicated. Actually, yeah, I think we can probably just do that as well on this side. And then over here, uh, same thing. Uh, this one is only a left. Yeah, because we're trying to could actually change this one to just just straight or something or just the right or no turning. Hmm. Because this one, then if we're doing le only left turns here, we could just remove left turns on this side. Say no left turns, and then we'll have a dedicated straight and a dedicated right or something like that. probably fine and uh, then over here do some dedicated turning lanes 
All right, all right. This little redevelopment turned out pretty nicely. We got this huge bridge over here. Uh, and now we just need to continue building it up. So uh, we're still using the three lane. Let's go back down to ground level here. And let's upgrade. Let's turn collision off really quickly. Oh, we're gonna have to pause while we do this because uh, if I remember correctly, we dezoned this road entirely. And that would uh, that would do it. That would really mess things up a little bit, wouldn't they? So I'll do that and I'll click Control Z and I'll do it one more time. Move it, Control Z. And let's see uh, how things turned out here. So it looks like some of the zoning didn't come back fully. Same with this one right over here. I don't really like this building anyway, so let's destroy it. And I thought I turned zoning off. Yeah, it looks like I did everywhere else. Okay, so we're good there then. And what the heck happened over here? Let's just do that, move it again. Let's see what happens. There we go. It looks like the zoning came back on. Okay, I see what ha what's happening. But hopefully we can fix this issue. Maybe if we just do that, it should work. We get a nice clean zoning going on. Um, over here, it looks like uh, the crosswalks came off of here as well. So let's make sure we have those crosswalks back on. And we'll make sure there's some dedicated turning lanes. Uh, although on this type of road, I don't really mind doing something like that. And then over here, it looks like we're got a bit of an issue. I know this is a cross uh, crosswalk anyways. So why don't we go into the node controller and we just make it uh, custom. It's weird how there's not a crossing. Oh, 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 what's happening? Let's try to get rid of this tree really quickly. And if we go into node controller again, try to pull this back ever so slightly. And then if we go into traffic manager, I think we'll be able to get some crosswalks in here. Nice, and let's go clean that up actually in node controller. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we're across, and now we have a bit of a dilemma. So, do we continue down this road, or do we get the trams to split and go down this road here? This road is called Florence. Uh, so, Ontario Street, the Ontario Street tram could continue right in, um, but you see, I think this neighborhood is already very well supported by transit. We have the main a metro station right through here we got buses all that run through uh, and everything but I don't really want to get a tram to run into here because I want to make them use the the metro station so from Reynolds Square into this area I want them to use the metro because there's one stop two stop three stop there's a stop right in here right there so uh, I think if we are to get a tram from this side of the river onto this side of the river, so from the left side to the right side, I think I want that tram to come from West Beach or Shatner Heights, and then it would kind of duck over. And I don't really mind doing that because in a way we're, we're gonna just kind of bypass Bathurst Station in that regard. So what would happen is we'd have like the stops and then we would just you know stop in here for Bathurst Station and then we'd maybe take it into the tram about and then we're kind of doubling up on a couple things, but I think that might be an important trim. But uh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let's go back to these roads and let's let's upgrade everything to this larger road here. Um, especially if we're going to go through the highway. I don't know if we're going to have to go through the highway here. So I was thinking about trying to get the tram into this area, but I don't know, folks, that's going underneath the highway with a tram doesn't especially with this major intersection here hmm I think I might get the tram to go under and then stop right here and then we'll get the tram to, to come into Shadow Heights this way and then maybe we bypass any tram connection into West Beach 
So let's do this. I'm doing this with the simming off because I know that we had turned off off zoning on the other road here. What the heck? These giant European buildings over here. I think that probably means the districts are off a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they are. And maybe that's the reason why this one was also? No? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So this way we have a dedicated left turn lane here for anyone, any cars going into this neighborhood. Um, and then we have a pretty nice system going on over here. Uh, we'll see if we need to upgrade the other sides of the road. But for now, I think we can have a dedicated left on this one. That works as well. Whoops. And why don't we just go into node controller really quickly and just uh, try to square that node up a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I think the trams can probably make that. So I'm not too concerned. And then we'll get the tram line to go into a smaller road. So we'll go into the four lane road kind of system here. And then I want to try to keep the same grid. So we'll do that. And then let's go into node controller and let's square that node. So we got another pretty sharp turn here. Let's try to pull that back and we'll try to widen it up a little bit for the tram to make that turn. Yeah, okay, and then we're going to pretty much take this road all the way through, but I want to maintain this grid line for the time being. So we'll connect up right here, bring it right through, and then um, and I think we, we're going to need to do some redrawing of these roads over here. So we'll do that. Yeah, and let's go into node controller really quickly. Let's make this node a middle node. And this one should have done that uh, funky thing. Doesn't look like it wanted to though. So just make a, no, let's not make it a crossing. That's okay, we'll just do that for now. Uh, and then coming out of the tunnel here, let's also do that. It looks like we've already kind of done that with the tunnel also, uh, as well. So if we upgrade this and this piece, looks like we've already done that. So somewhere underneath here, there's a transition. I think that's that'll be fine. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Let's uh, let's turn crosswalks off right here. Just go through. Okay, so let's just do a bit of slope uh, work on the slope over here. Uh, okay, I don't want to be in a tunnel anymore. Let's turn that off. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's see how how steep that is. Uh, that's pretty tough. So let's go right to the end. Point four. That's pretty good for trams. I'm pretty sure trams can do. Some pretty significant grades, so not actually that concerned about it. Um, all right. So yeah, I mean that's a good start. Uh, the tram is going to then kind of weave right through into here, and you know we have nothing planned over here, so I think this is kind of an opportunity to have a little bit, little bit of a fresh kind of uh, fresh kind of look on this side over here. So let's see kind of how far we can take the current grid system. And uh, let's actually change it up to this road. Oh, and I messed everything up by doing that. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on. So if we were to just, you know, keep this road straight, looks like we can get pretty much right to the end here. And that's actually pretty good for me because I want to try and then end the tram road and turn it into like a tram only, like a tram dedicated road. So I think maybe we can try to bring the grid system past this whole area. Right through here, we have a, a connection point. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but it's just a basic road. 
Let's try and just, you know, continue that. And we'll connect this right up. Come back and we'll do node, some node controller work here. Let's just square that node up a little bit. And we'll upgrade those roads uh, should we need to. Um, okay, so now let's kind of stop thinking about the tram really quickly and look at this area over here. So, you know, I think we have a couple options here to, to try to get people across uh, this area. One, we can just forget that any of this exists and we don't try to make any pedestrian connections. Um, we can try to get a road through here. I don't think a road's going to work. I think a pedestrian connection over on this side by the, the sports fields is probably the best option here. So we'll see, maybe we might need to try and, you know, get a path right through here and then over the tracks. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too, too much about that on the other side. However, I do think we can um, get some housing along here. So we'll bring this road to about here. Yeah, that works. And the grid system's all off. Okay, so let's just re redo that. I'm really keen on making sure that the grids uh, stay pretty complete. Uh, let's go to about... Mm, let's go... Yeah, I think that works. Let's do that, and that's fine if this road is off. Um, okay, delete that. Then let's try to get maybe one more connection right through here. I'm not going to try to find the middle. I think I think I'll just kind of wing it. It's eight. That works. And then over on this side, let's see how far we can go before we connect into the train line here. So about right here. Nice. Okay, let's turn zoning off of that road and then this road. Alrighty. So I'm not going to get a connection onto the underpass over here, but I don't really mind getting a connection over on this side, to be honest. So why don't we try to find a nice connection point here? We could just make it straight, and that's probably fine. So let's do that. Let's make it 90 degrees. So let's click it in over here, just in case the grid lines don't match up. And it uh, looks pretty fine to me. So we're good there. We're not going to do that over here, but I'm going to take it right to the end. And yeah, that works. That works. Let's just do that adjustment right now. And we'll just bring that right over. And then let's get it to the same height as that. Switch it over a touch more. Alrighty. So we're going to make these some larger lots here. Here. Yeah, let's actually do this. I'll make that curve, and then I'll just get a path instead. So we'll just go into the basic concrete path, and just pretty much just by placing it down, and then using move it to move it around. That's going to give us exactly kind of what we're looking for. Fantastic. Okay, so let's grab this road again. Let's connect this up and let's do a bit of uh, work with these nodes, actually. Oh, nice. It cleaned it up for us, actually. So that's, that's good. We could kind of do a bit of work, but I think right in the middle here, just to save any potential issues, let's just make this a larger road. And we'll come back and we'll do some some work on those node uh, on those uh, traffic uh, the intersections momentarily. So 
bring this one right down. We'll do the same kind of thing. And then I want to get it to the same height as that, and then even a bit farther. Sorry, my numlock was off. It's throwing me off. <laughs> uh, and then let's do some slope work now. Then now that we've got like kind of the major roads in, let's see how much this will change things. It's pretty good, so we'll have to do some work over there then. Reslope this. It's pretty significant. Two percent is not that bad. So I think that'll probably be good. From here to here. Let's see if we can smooth that out a little bit. All right, I don't really mind everything else being slightly off and whatnot. So I think we said we're gonna do this one as well. Okay, so now let's smooth things out with the smoothing tool. And let's just extend it. Uh, let's go a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go a little bit bigger. And we'll just kind of smooth out these bumps. And it's also going to show us where other uh, issues are as well. So that's good. It's so right in this area right through here between uh, Anchor and Bradley. It really needs to be smoothed out. You know, any developer would definitely definitely do this, so it's no worry. Uh, okay, so right here, there's an issue. So let's go in, back into the road here. Let's go into this tab over here. Let's grab that, just smooth that out, and then we'll come back and we'll just touch that up. Okay, so we have a bunch of residential demand. Um, that's pretty much what this area is gonna be uh, mainly. But we're actually not done, so I jumped the gun a little bit. This area was a little bit mountainous. I'm kind of thinking a park might be a good option on this side, because... Sorry, I said mountainous. It's, it's, it has like a two meter difference. But, um, yeah, you know what? We have residential over here. I don't really mind getting this residential as well. I think the kind of theme of this area is going to be, you know, residential with a tram kind of going through the middle of it. So let's try and maybe line up this right here. Uh, it's not going to work really. That's pretty close, so let's just do that. Alrighty, and let's make sure we have a nice simple little grid system. And we're not going to get anything over there, so I think this one's just going to be a larger block. And then we'll connect these two up. And we'll bring this over. But I think uh, other than that, pretty good here. Let's just grab that and set it to the same height as the rail line. Okay, I think uh, I think we're good for now. Let's get let's get some uh, some main features in, and then we'll continue doing stuff as the build kind of progresses. Okay, so we have a hospital over here. Which I like to say that this one, the medical clinic, uh, but I think it's the European style. I like to say that it's like a veterinarian. So, because, you know, you, you, the amount of uh, health care facilities you need to place in this game is a bit, it's a bit much. So, um, yeah, I think if we say this one's just like a, a clinic and then the other one is a, a vet, I think that's a pretty cool. A little difference we can make. Let's turn this back on actually and see if we place it. Yeah, over here. I think we kind of fill in fill in a little bit of a gap as well. Um, okay, so we got that. Let's uh, see if we can get uh, some death care in here as well. Whoops, I shouldn't have turned that off. Yeah, we definitely need death care in this area. Uh, let's try to use this street right here. It's a pretty awkward street, so I think if we place it right in the middle. I think that kind of gives us a nice little story for the for the community. Looks like the highway was built up like uh, around an older community this way. 
Um, and then let's also add to the death care by adding a uh, crematorium. Yeah, we'll throw it. Uh, let's place it actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's place it right here. And we're going to need water. It wouldn't be an episode if I didn't forget to place water before I did anything else, right? <laughs> so uh, let's bring this right across. We'll go right down the tram road. It's a bit off. Sorry about that. Okay, that works. And we're pretty much full, so fantastic. And I did get a uh, comment about why I do this. Uh, why do you place water pipes under the roads? Well, uh, it's definitely more economical to just try to maximize your space by, you know, extending them out this way and then building the next one right here. So you're maximizing your coverage. But uh, I do this because it's slightly more realistic. I think City Planner plays, if you follow uh, their channel, um, kind of coined it, like uh, coined the, 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 the use of it, I guess, uh, in the city, city Skylines community. And it's basically just because that's where they would go in real life. Okay, so let's check out fire. Whoa, we really need fire coverage over here. We might actually even need a large fire station. So if we place this over here, definitely, I don't really like that location to be honest. Yeah, I don't think this really fits the theme that we're going for. Nor does this fire hall really. This one, this one kind of does a little bit. Hmm. If we place it right here, it's pretty good. Okay, let's do that. It's a larger fire hall. It's pretty nice. Um, let's do a bit of paving over here just to fill in the space. Okay. So that's fire. Let's look at... Did we get everything for healthcare? I don't think we did. So we did death care, but there's other facilities we need actually. So we have a child care facility, so that covers most things. So I don't think we necessarily need to. We also have an elder care facility. We actually have two elder care facilities, so I definitely don't think we need one. So I think down the road, if we need one for a specific build, I think that's okay. Uh, a sauna, you know, we have one over here. So let's place another one over on this side of the, the city. I, I really like these, especially in commercial zones. I think they look like, uh, you know, sometimes when you're walking down these old towns, you see like a house that's like a, a commercial building. I think they kind of give that kind of vibe. So, okay. So I think that covers most things. Police, let's, let's check to see if we have police coverage in the area. It looks like we do. So we don't really need that over here. Definitely don't need that. Uh, education is something that we definitely really need in this area. So we have one elementary school over here, another one over here. So it looks like we're probably going to need another one. Actually, we, we don't yet, but I think we will down the line. So let's get another one uh, and we'll just do a really quick, simple uh, build for this. Let's get it off the tram tracks. Oh, this is tough because we're also up close to a highway <laughs> and a train line. Oh no, oh no. Okay, let's just bring this one out and we'll maybe put it right. Maybe we'll... Maybe we need to rethink this a little bit. And I think by rethinking it, I think if we just continue planning the grid out, I think that's probably going to be fine. Alrighty, so let's get that right in here. So we'll do that. And I think this will give us enough space as well. And then if we place the park right here. Oh, I guess I, oh, oh my God, I did too. Okay. So if I place the park in and we rotate it this way, or is it on from the other side? There's a method of doing this where the trees don't really mess with the asset too much. So 
So we're just looking at the trees. I think this is a good spot for it. Okay. And let's just get a little fence around here as well. That's always helpful. Let's turn off our guidelines when we do fences. There we go. We'll go right from here. And then we'll go right from here. We'll leave like a little gap. There we go. Ooh, it looks like we need to do a bit of tweaking there. Okay, perfect. So we got that in place. High school, high school, high school. Do we need a high school? Probably not since we have a high school right here and over here. Uh, looks like we're probably gonna be fine. Ooh, I don't know, we might need another one. So yeah, why don't we plan that actually? Yeah, let's maybe go for the smaller one. See where those high schools are again. They're in there. So maybe if we place it a bit closer to the highway. Down in here. Okay, let's move this. And then let's get the high school in here. So I know I always say I like pref I prefer to do these ones, but I think in this specific build. I think, especially since we have a larger high school so close, I think maybe we can get a different type of high school right here. So we can place that right there. And then, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I see people use these to attach to the high school, and I, I don't mind that at all. I think that's pretty cool. They're just so expensive. $3,000 a week to upkeep. Uh, the swimming pool I don't mind as well, but high schools in Canada don't really have that. Uh, so let's I, I don't really think there's many other sports assets we have that could really uh, Attach to the school area uh, Except for like the classic basketball courts um, And the skate park and stuff like that So why don't we do that then so I think I have a couple better basketball assets So we got that one it is a basketball court, yes. <laughs> also got the hockey rink. I think that's kind of fun. I like this asset. It's a bit messy sometimes, but... Uh, let's actually just rotate it. I know that the parking is a bit weird on this asset. What if we do this? Place it like so. And then I'll go into the uh, building spawn point. And I'm just going to move it onto this side. So cars arrive over here. Okay, let's fill this in with concrete. fill in this whole area actually okay let's uh, let's actually just move this basketball asset over here and uh, let's do some parking lots so I actually did get some parking lot assets from the workshop I type in parking. I think they should pop up. Aha. So it looks like two, two by 10. It's too much. Two by four. Okay, I think maybe we do this. That, that could work. Let's do another one over here. Make it seem like it's the same kind of parking lot. Yeah, I haven't really gone out of my way to, to, to get many more parking lot assets. But I think that that works. It's a little different. Not the best high school I've done, I gotta say. But 
Uh, let's uh, definitely get a fence around it. I think it uh, fits this. It, it fills in the space though, and I think it fills in the space adequately. Okay, and then let's get. Let's actually just get this to come right over into here. I think if we connect these up and then we just move this ever so slightly I think we can make it look as if it's just one parking lot with access right here okay so we got that in place holy cow this episode's flown by I cannot believe it's 40 minutes into the recording let's get some zoning going here then oh my gosh I was just kind of playing not really paying attention to the time. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, we gotta do some priorities then. Okay, so prioritize older roads. There we go, thank you. So we got some nice clean zoning right there. Uh, then we'll go to some smaller zoning right through here. Prioritize older roads. Let's turn zoning off of that. And here, here. I think maybe that's actually a little bit better. I will do that. Um, and then I think we can get some commercial right in front of the high school. Let's run a path right down here. And then let's get a residential building. Why not? Um, let's quickly find the, the Shatner Heights district and let's go into policies here. I'm going to turn on uh, ooh. Yeah, let's turn on schools out and then let's also turn on high rise ban. Now high rise ban won't let the larger buildings turn into uh, sorry, the high density buildings turn into um Five star, but uh, I think that's kind of a good vibe that I'm, I'm hoping for. Okay, so we got some residential. Let's see. I think maybe we can squeeze all of this in right through here. Then right here all the way across. We can get some larger ones. Let's turn off zoning right there. Let's get a pathway. that all right it's coming along let's get some low density zoning and oh I was told to check the noise pollution along the train lines and uh, you know what it seems it's a little noisy but it seems fine all right so uh, while that comes in, let's just take a quick think about the trams. So let's just extend the tram road a little bit farther. Let's turn our guidelines back on. That would be helpful. And I think right here is where we're going to kind of triangulate these two lines, these two roads. Maybe we, we yeah, because I think we'll probably need to continue this a little bit farther. Yeah, so we can continue this a little bit farther, but I think maybe what we do is... So I want to bring the tram into here, right? So I guess we didn't have time today, but we'll definitely do it on Wednesday's episode. Um, I think maybe if we get the tram to link up with the, uh, the railroad over here, and we turn this into a tram only road. We'll just kind of get some some rough plans going. We back it up a little bit farther. We'll go elevate, and we'll bring it out to about right here. Let's pause the game. Let's grab all of these. 
and we'll say get to the same height as the rail line. Yeah, so let's back this up a little bit. Oops, let's undo. Didn't mean to select them all, I was just trying to grab this one. There we go, let's bring this one a bit closer. Yeah, so I'm thinking if we connect this up, and then what I can do is I can either go under, because we just need a service line, right? So I think we can just go under, and then we can connect up somewhere, and that'll probably be fine. And then this will be a simple connection. We just continue this to about right here. We'll end the road. Do that, and then I can select this. And we can just connect up with a ground piece. Just like that, and then we'll just do a quick little maneuver like so. That's pretty good, and then we can uh, you know, continue the tram into this residential build down the line. But uh, we'll also be able to split off and get this area. So uh, let's get those trams in uh, just for the time being. This is not going to stay, but just for the time being, until we get a proper turnaround, I'm just going to do that. And let's get a couple of these tram lines in. So we're on trams. Uh, we'll get a stop uh, right here and then right here. Interesting decision. But we can revise this down the road. Uh, we'll get another stop right here. We'll get another stop right here. And I think maybe we actually bring it into this community a little bit. We're going to need a way to turn the tram around, though. Because otherwise, we're coming right into here. I think that's probably fine, actually. And then if we stop it right over here, we're pretty close to the metro. I think right over here is a better location for a stop. And I guess we don't really need a stop over here if we have... Yeah, okay, so we'll bypass that. We'll get it to stop right here. And then we'll come right into uh, this area. And it's going to go right into here. It's going to do a bit of a loop here. And we'll get it to share this tram stop over here. And then we'll get it to share this tram stop over here. And then we'll come right back. We'll share, let's actually stop on this side this time. Then we'll come back down. And we'll just finish it off like so. So that is our new tram line. Uh, it's gonna continue a bit farther. I just, you know, we ran out of time today. That This is crazy how how uh, how fast this has gone. Oh, um, this is a European theme district. This is not what I was wanting it to be. So we're gonna come into themes here. I always forget to do this. We're just going to make it international. We'll back out, and then I'll come back into here, and we'll delete these European-style buildings. Okay, so, um, yeah, you know, I, I think this area is going to look pretty nice with the tram running through it. I think we did a good job getting the tram into here. I'm thinking we definitely need to get a tram from the... Uh, kind of replacing this purple bus that runs right up... Uh, Florence Street, I think is what we called it. Um, yeah, I think that'll be... That'll be good. Where's the post office? I always forget where this is. I'm looking right at it, aren't I? So I forgot to do a post office. Post, here it is, okay. Uh, the post office needs to be in this area as well. So I think we'll just get this one a little bit farther down the road. Just like that. Alright, well. Um, you know, I, I hope you liked today's build. It was a little, I, I just can't believe how fast it, it went by. I mean, I would normally try and at least... Uh, you know, kind of ease into the end of the episode, but we kind of just had to end the episode, didn't we? Uh, yeah, so I think most of this will be residential all the way down here. Uh, maybe if we just turn off zoning on these awkward roads here. I think that'll probably work.
Um, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely continue this build tomorrow, or on Wednesday's episode, uh, and we'll come back to it. So I hope you liked today's episode, folks. Let's try to find a little bit of a location here. Uh... Really don't like that look, to be honest. Maybe we'll go to the bridge. Yeah, this is a good thumbnail. Okay. All right. Hope you had a great day, folks. Talk to you on Wednesday. Peace out.